Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, June 20th, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, where podcast of indeterminate length, episode number 605. And happy Pride Month! Let's talk about those corporations. Mm-hmm. So, you realize that this is like three weeks into Pride Month, right? Yeah, but we, I don't think we've actually said Happy Pride Month. Did we? Did we? I don't know. Or, it's fair. I don't know. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. But, but the topic is related to it, so. Mm. So true. Very true. Uh, ba 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 I'm just going to say In okay. fact, uh, this year, for our annual Pride discussion, we have a two-parter. Because mm. there's lots to talk about. Um, first up, a number of things came into the media sphere in 2021. And the online community had many opinions about the co-opting of Pride to make money by companies and especially mm-hmm. larger corporations. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be the focus of this first parter. Uh, and I think we will say this is an all tea, no shade episode. Mm. Oh, yeah. They, we, we got a big old ATNS for it. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I don't, you know, you know, just want to put that disclaimer out there. I, I literally pointed at it, but I, I, I just realized <laughs> I didn't even look at the thing and I pointed up at it <laughs> right there. See, A. It is literally A-T-N-S. right above Jeff's head in the video. Go. I have to look over to the side. It's like point to it. Good for you. I clap for you. <laughs> so some have the opinion that commercialism <clears throat> of human rights. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I should say human rights causes mm. or human rights. Same, same, eh. same, but different. Eh. Um, regardless that that commercialism is evil. <laughs> um. But another opinion is that companies um, pander to the LGBTQIA plus community for one month while working with others against our rights and humanity. I mean, yeah. I mean, okay, so let's let's just let's just get it started because might as well get it started because I'm here. Um, so, unlike certain corporations like Chick Fil A that are genuinely, you know constantly saying that they don't want us and hate us and whatever there are many corporations that will change their logos and be all like oh it's pride month and we love you and we're all inclusive and we want you to be a part of our family and da 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 and blah, 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 blah. while um secretly or maybe not so secretly um putting money in the pockets of the same people that probably chick-fil-a and what other corporations that have been um making it known that they don't like us doing the same thing, but just kind of doing it discreetly and, you know, kind of one hand in the, um, one hand in the pride bucket and maybe another hand, like in the anti-gay like bucket, like throwing stuff like above them, like, like sprinkling the, the shit, like (laughs) into it, something along those lines. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's blood, you know, it's fucking gross. 
Like I'll just like it. Like it, it, it doesn't feel good. And especially when you learn about them, like the first one that's on this little um, picture that you gave me or that you put out here. Yeah. I didn't know that. And um, guess where this came from? Um. <laughs> well, so what David's referring to is in the doc, and it'll be on our website. Um, two years ago, Forbes, um, the media conglomerate company, had an article online that advised to beware of companies with pride color logos because they also donated to anti-gay politicians. And so this makes this made the rounds the year it was produced in 2019 it came around again last year and of course people are sharing the image again this year in 2021 so i I can't speak to the validity of it but it's an example of how like somebody went and tried to you know uh bring together facts and Mm. say be aware you know that these individuals these groups or whatever these entities are you know possibly taking our gay dollars so using mm-hmm. Damon's analogy, they're literally taking, like, in one hand, taking our our LGBTQIA money and then literally putting it over in the pocket of an anti-gay politician, which yeah. means we're actually funding our own, like, legal, demise, yeah. like, stuff yeah. against us. Political, you know, demise, as it were, which, when you think about it, is... Yeah, it's a sour. It leaves a sour taste in your mouth when you think about some of the things. And again, I don't know. I know this is a little old, this um, article and these pictures are p- potentially a little old. But it, I recall seeing this one. And um, I don't know if I um, either didn't see the at t or whatever, because I remember seeing the the one right below it okay. and those. Yeah. I just don't know if maybe, you know, again, it could have potentially been a cropped image for all I know. Someone could have, I mean, it was probably on my phone. So <laughs> like someone mm-hmm. could have just shared it. I mean, it's entirely possible to, you know, edit an image, you know? So I, um, overall, um, it's always been a catch 22 in regards to corporations and corporate and, and, and pride. Um, there are many companies that are supportive and will be supportive and have made it well known that they're supportive of our communities um, overall and are doing things to uh, uh, help. I use the word help, but no, you know, you know, assist in the progress of our community. Um, and are supportive during Pride and and you know do the things and so. You know, it's kind of becoming a uh, double-edged sword of like, well, how do you know? Well, the biggest thing you can potentially do is just research. Right. You know. And that's what uh, this article was basically doing back in 2019 was saying, like, they followed the money. They like, because campaign finance, like donations from corporate entities has to be reported. mm -hmm. So if you were to go to any of these companies and challenge them on this, their stance most likely would fall into some like arena of, well, we didn't donate money to them to be anti-gay. We donated money to them because they like serve on the corporate finance committee or they, you know, are, um, you know, heavily influential with the FCC or, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're, they're ass covering, I guess (laughs) Mm. is that, you know, well, we're not, we're not giving these individuals in Congress this money to, you know, be against your community. We're giving this money to them to help us in our endeavors as a business, you know, and it's like, that's fine, but it doesn't negate what you've done. Like it doesn't, Mm -hmm. it doesn't take away what's already happened, which is, you know, so I, I think, there's no clean answer, I guess. I don't know how else mm. to phrase it, you know, in the scenario. Yeah. Because... I, well, it, my thought on this is, uh, is, is a couple fold is in the fact that s- several possible things could be happening. Um, the people who are developing, advertising the products uh, to be, you know, pro pride 
are, are doing one thing. Then, so the left hand's doing one thing. The right hand is over here doing another saying, hey, this issue is very important to us. This is a guy that can help us do it. They're looking at the one issue that they're they're concerned about, focused, not looking at like, you know, what other things do they do? And giving them money. So it's, to me, it's, it's, they're not, it, it's partially of the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing and vice versa. And um, they're not properly vetting the people that they're giving money to. Yeah. Because they're so focused on the issue that can help the business, which is fine. It, they're a business. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 it makes sense. But if you're going to put out pride products, <laughs> you need to be like, okay, what, who are we giving money to? Could this conflict? Is there a, the, the, the conflict and in interest here? Conflict of interest. And just, yeah. Just be like, like, okay, we're concerned about this issue. We would like to give you money. Tell me something. What is your voting record like? What are your stance <laughs> on, uh, on these type of things, which could affect things about what products we're trying to sell? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's kind of, sorry, David, it's kind of tied to like, look at what happened with Georgia, how these large corporations started speaking up when all these voting rights items were being changed mm -hmm. in the state. And these corporations were like, uh, in my opinion, too little, too late. But they turned around and they were like, oh, 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 like we gave you money and you're actually like working against our own employees, like to give <laughs> them their constitutional right to have the ability to like have access to vote. Like, mm -hmm. and, and and so I, I, that's why I'm like, is it possible for businesses to make donations with a sound mind knowing like what's happening with their like funds in terms mm -hmm. of like what that politician supports and, and so on and so forth and believes. Yes. But that requires effort. Mm -hmm. Like somebody, as I think David, you were saying, it's like somebody has got to do the research to and what Jeff was saying too. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Like, essentially what I'm saying is if they're not, not properly vetting uh, on another side of things, like in the case of the, of the voting rights issue, it could be that issue never really came up. So doing vetting necessar didn't necessarily end up well, being there. And then with might... the issues of, oh, we need to stop this this bullshit with, with people actually voting. I don't know why <laughs> citizens would vote. That's just weird. We need to stop that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, this is me being cynical. Um, why would it, people want to vote? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> and, and they're... <laughs> And now it's like, okay, now I've got this stance on this issue. And the company gave them money before. And now they they're they they kind of like when they come out with that, they turn and go, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait right, a minute. But, but... Um, I think you owe me some money. What? I think you owe me some money. We want our money back. We right, want a refund that way. <laughs> I know, but it's, it's I just I mean find the situation funny that technically way. a politician can give back a donation because we've seen it many times where they're like, Well, I didn't know. And, you know, I donated it to a charity or whatever, you know, like they magically cough up the money that they had received when shit hits the fan because, you know, it's found out that, you know, so and so embezzled or blah blah blah, you know, and, and donated to them and they're like, Well, ooh, like you know. I had no idea. I wasn't involved with that. I was removed from it, you know. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's possible for a corporation to get their money back, quote unquote. I, I don't think it's no. I, 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 that's the less likely thing. But the the, the right. idea it, it's more likely is like okay, we we were thinking about continuing to fund you, mm. but um, hey, you just revealed something. <laughs> that it, didn't, it never came up in the past. It never was a factor or anything. But then, well, we we take issue with this. Um, we saw we're, you. We're gonna. Get, <laughs> I mean, we're not. We're not just giving money. So it it could be one. It 
companies that do something that would do something like that is like, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Uh uh. <laughs> Cut his funding <laughs> off. Back up. <laughs> Hold the right, phone. Like, like, like if you were, if they were to do right as a corporation, because we just had an episode about apologies. Mm. And we're later going to have an episode about forgiveness. But, you know, behavior is a key aspect of apologies. So uh, if you, if you done messed up and you gave a donation to a politician, um, you as a corporate entity can turn around and like make a statement and then mm -hmm. take action to like try to reconcile what's happened i'm not going to say it absolves you but no. you can turn around and be like oh yes we gave so and so you know fifty five thousand dollars this year we will take the same amount of money and we won't donate it to them we'll donate it to the trevor project or mm -hmm. the alley 40 center or you know whatever um something you know that benefits the community at large so to speak is something completely um, opposite of what what the issue is right. opposite end of the spectrum um yeah yeah which it's makes just... me kind of wonder like this this forbes article is two years old so we don't right. uh, unless we have they have or, or somebody has put out some sort of article that's uh, an updated Update. version because well, it could be that some of these has turned their stance being and while they probably made the excuse, yeah, I mean, it, there was no excuse, but yeah, it, the reasoning, but uh, which right. I'd like to say reasoning is different than excuse. Reasoning, yeah. you're not trying to take away blame, just explaining what the situation was and how it happened. This is the reason. An excuse is trying to absolve yourself of whatever wrong you, you were doing. In it, or at least in an attempt, <laughs> attempt to. There was an attempt. be like, okay, at that time, we didn't know anything about this. Uh, their funding has been cut off. That's where the the apology part of it comes in. He's it so could be sorry. that some of the, these these corporations have changed. I don't know. I could be wrong, but well, we're going to put them out there just in case. No, but here's the thing: is I just found that there's a Guardian article of 25 corporations. This is 2021. Ooh. Uh, when did this come out? Oh, I can't stand articles that don't have dates. Um, 25 corporations marking pride donated over 10 million to anti-LGBTQ plus politicians in a study. Ooh. June is Pride Month, and many U.S. corporations are advertising their support for the LGBTQ plus community. A new study, however, has found that 25 companies otherwise eager to wave the rainbow flag have donated more than 10 million to anti-LGBTQ plus federal and state politicians over the past two years. Mm -hmm. The study was released on Monday. Doesn't say again. I would like dates, people. <sighs> By the popular Monday, information newsletter. Yeah, it's I in the. It's in the. It's it's right underneath the uh, uh, what do they call it the the the, the guy who wrote it Foot, Edward no. Helmore it's right underneath it. Well, on my left. version of the website, it doesn't have a date anywhere or the author. It's in the far left corner. It's on the it, left side at the top. You make it. Oh, that's a <laughs> shitty place. But put it under the I mean, yeah. headline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Anyway, so. Uh, do, Jeff, do we have a breaking news kind of sound clip? Doubt it. Because um, <laughs> we probably we used, do. <laughs> we've used something I think in the we past. did at one point in time. Anyways, so this article is from June 14th of this year, 2021. So this is six days old. It's, it's, it's brand spanking new, so to speak. Um, the study released on Monday by the Popular Information Newsletter found that alongside pronouncements of LGBTQ plus support, corporations including... CVS, AT&T, Walmart, and Comcast have supported candidates who seek to block or otherwise restrict equal rights based on gender or sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. Many of the yes. corporations have a 100% rating with the Human Rights Campaign 2020 Corporate Equality Index. Oh, we, okay. Um, um, here, that's a wait, whole different the, conversation. Here's the key question, or here's the key question sentence the index does not take political donations into account yeah so like hrc just, yeah yet again that, is being assholes like we could that's a whole nother conversation 
because it's very funny. I like like I appreciate the like this is all T no shade. Like, hey HRC, um, maybe you should get your shit together. Cause I get that you're like your what your name and like the what the letters mean and what it might entail, but a lot of your practices and events and other things and what have you really don't really don't really work in that way. Like at all. Um, so, um, maybe focus on your shit. I also wonder if they even realize what the, uh, what the letters in LGBTQ stand for. Cause I'm you wondering... mean HRC or just in general? No, no, uh, like, like a, the, the study found that CVS, uh, uh, had, uh, had signed uh, proud to join more than 100 companies that signed HRC's business statement opposing anti-LGBTQ state legislation. Also supported sponsors of anti-trans T legislation in, te in Texas, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Mm. I'm wondering if they focused on things like, oh, LGBTQ, that's the gay community, the homosexuals, right? Oh. So, and so, so anti-trans... So they're like, we'll support the gays. We'll support the gays. We'll support the gays. Support Those trans people. We'll support everybody else. We won't support everybody else. I don't understand like, them. They're so weird. Mm, I mean, you ain't wrong. I mean, hell, we, I mean, we could, again, probably potentially a whole other talk. We could talk about the negativity and backlash that other communities within the LGBTQIA plus community deal with on a on a basis such as like bisexuals and transgender mm -hmm. and 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 lesbians against gays and all of that fun fun stuff we could break the whole fucking lgbtqia down mm -hmm. and talk about all the infighting and bullshit that happens because we for some reason feel like the rights that are being given out are just like a pie that like if you only get you only get so much of it like as opposed to like you know, it 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 equal is equal is equity is there for everyone. But you know, yeah, we could we could we could go into a whole big ass long show on that shit. But we ain't got time for that. We're gonna talk well, about corporations today. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's gonna be two new links that we're adding into the doc, like as we're having this discussion and finding this article. The first one is to the guardian uh uk website and then i've also included the actual popular.info uh newsletter site what i find interesting is um asked by popular information if it would continue to support politicians that sponsor anti-trans legislation or receive a zero on hrc's congressional scorecard or take any steps to align its political givings with its public statements about lgbtq rights uh CVS is the first company that they're talking about, um, did not respond. A spokesperson for HRC told Popular Information that, quote, we don't issue public comments about cases like this, end quote. Well, isn't that lovely? It's so funny how, like, something that should probably be public, you don't want to have publicized. Hmm. I, don't, I don't understand why you would want to do that. <laughs> yeah, so it says the criteria for the 2022 index from HRC, uh, however, still will not take into account political donations. So yeah. I'm just going to call it as it is another reason why I don't give them any fucking money. So same. It's so funny. Like, I, it's just hilarious. I love like there's a there's someone in our chorus who is big on HRC and like is always talking about their, their the events that they do and everything else. And I every time he starts talking, I want to be like, really, please sit down and shut the fuck up, because I just don't know. Like, I appreciate what you're trying to do and whatever. But reality is, like, I don't think they're doing what you think they're doing because mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't see it. I, I think, haven't seen it. I think they're doing some of what we assume they're supposed to be doing. They're just not doing everything they should be doing. Does that make any sense? Or they're not doing it well, or they're either not doing it well, or they're not doing it at all. Yeah. So I I'm think looking the former, probably to a large, ex <laughs> large extent, or like, 
They're, they're, they're doing something. Just I don't know. And it's this like, is such a damning article. <laughs> the full list of companies that were analyzed by popular information is in this chart below. All of these companies received a perfect score on the 2020 HRC Corporate Equality Index. Mm -hmm. So what they're pointing out is the contradiction of, like, you gave money to, like, support blah, 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 and yet you claim you got a perfect score from HRC, when in fact, the only reason you got the perfect score is because the index doesn't take into account your donations to mm. these other things. It's not convenient. Yeah. So I just added it to the to the doc. So in case you want to like look over yes, the companies and I'm like take a minute and look. I, I just want to say learning. I just want to say technically there is a company on there that I don't directly work for. <laughs> right, but you're contracted under or yeah, with. Yeah. No, I know. Anyway. <laughs> that's okay one of them happens to be my pharmacy only probably not for very long because now i'm really irritated <laughs> look at you uh, strangely enough one of those is probably the pharmacy that's the uh, most convenient for for getting a covid shot plus side on that i <laughs> think you don't pay for it <laughs> yeah so now i have to now i have to think about like who i want to be my pharmacy because uh the th one two three main ones in town are all on this list <laughs> oh no i should probably look at this list uh yeah oh god um uh, <laughs> one of my favorite uh uh, uh, uh television companies <laughs> is on this list it's okay let's let's let me read it first exactly okay come my on. phone providers on here ah my phone provider is on here. That's for sure. I didn't know that much. Um, uh, where did it go? Oh, good God. This article is, is. Uh, what I refer yeah. to as, as some irony, but mainly because it's a, because of uh, jokes about it. But uh, <laughs> Homo Depot is on here. Yeah. Everyone has talked about that. Like that's been, that's actually been out there for a while, that they're kind of, mm -hmm. they're quite, you know, anti- LGBT, um, right? But it's funny. Okay, <laughs> they're getting upset by all the gays hooking up at the stores. Oh my god! <laughs> they have been on Squirt and been like, "Uh uh, uh uh." <laughs> we're like, "Uh uh." Wait. No, this is why we're mad. <laughs> Stop using our fucking bathrooms. <laughs> Look, you're not here to come and get that type of wood. Well, so here's a, here's an interesting point. Popular information asked all of the companies if they would continue supporting politicians with anti-LGBTQ voting records or whether their stated commitment to LGBTQ rights will have any impact on future political giving. And then some of the companies did respond. Mm -hmm. As an example, Google said... We have a long track record of strongly supporting the rights of all LGBTQ plus people, building inclusive products and features, providing support and benefits to our LGBTQ plus employees, and advocating consistently for policies that would protect LGBTQ plus individuals, such as the Equality Act, and all the way back to opposing California's Proposition 8 back in 2008. We have long contributed to candidates from across the political spectrum who work on technology policy, but we have always been very clear that such a contribution doesn't mean that Google agrees with the candidate on every issue. In fact, we may disagree strongly on some issues. What's that? I hear an echo. Like, was that not just 15, 20 minutes ago? I made some comment along that mm -hmm. kind of like a cover your ass statement. <clears throat> Now, it, that's what that sounds like to me. Uh, one thing oh. is, uh, you've also, uh, both of you have, uh, uh, I, I currently don't really have an opinion when it comes to HRC, but you, you two seem to have a very strong opinion about HRC. So the first column on this chart is talking about uh, uh, Mount data and federal, federal lawmakers with a zero HRC score. I mean, it's HRC doing the score. Yeah, but and then you look at the other column, which is, 
says amount donated to sponsors of anti-trans uh, legislation, which has nothing to do with the HRC score or HRC in general, just that fact. Mm-hmm. Um, three, right. So four of these companies they... didn't uh, uh, donate money to any of them. Well, right. so, so here, it, it gets some... into that that room of it, it, where you would have to do some more research about about it is like. Why did these companies get, uh, or these lawmakers that the f- that these companies did donate to, get the zero HRC score? Could it just be they just weren't helping? They weren't necessarily hurting. They were just not helping. So usually, if you're a if you're a lawmaker and you get a zero score, then you haven't you haven't anything notable on your record. For your statements, your policies, your sponsorships, or your votes that are supportive of the community. So if you have a zero with the HRC, no offense, as a lot of as a federal lawmaker, you're kind of shitty. So mm-hmm. that's why that column is there. Now, what's mm-hmm. confusing is the second column does not correlate or have anything to do with the first column. It's just mm-hmm. other data that they put on the chart, and it says simply how much that entity gave to a sponsor of anti-trans legislation, notably the keyword is sponsor. It's not that they donated to somebody who voted for that. It's that they gave money to somebody who sponsored the legislation, which is a distinction because, right, because if I'm a sponsor, that means I officially sign on in support of the legislation. But if I just simply vote for it, that's not the Mm -hmm. same thing, Mm -hmm. which is really fuckery in my opinion because i have a state representative that i detest and ever like 98 99 of the time votes against me like as a constituent because we are a very large area of the state like spread across like the western state edge and it's very annoying because i'm like it's jury mandered it's a whole bunch of bullshit and i'm just like you represent our entire county and our population yet you actually like we're out, we're almost equal to or outweighed by everybody else that you represent. It's kind of messed up. So it's like they mm. don't have to sponsor. They can just simply vote against, vote against, nay, or like, you know, yay for crappy shit or whatever. Mm. And it's like, really? So because I have an app that I use that sends me notifications that my representative voted on legislation and it lets me know how they voted. So oh, nice. I've been kind of debating on what to do with this information. Like, if I'm eventually like going to send them a letter, like at the end of the year or whatever, and be ah. like, hey, as a constituent, here's all Back the off. things you voted on that I completely disagree with, and you should know that. And you're a dipshit. Dip. But anyways. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is where I'm coming in 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 quote unquote defense, mainly because maybe or just devil's advocate on it. I don't know what we would call it. But the ambiguity of this data. I mean the 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 right column pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. The 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 middle column where, where we're talking about the HRC score gives me that kind of like I need more information. Okay. Uh, I need we need we need to to dive in. I, I don't give me the zero HRC score if the HRC score says is basically did you do anything notable in regards to to helping. HR, uh, the HRC. If you did something negative, that's what I want to know know about. Because if you did something negative, that's going to be the the, the pain point. If okay. all these the this money that these companies Shut donated up. or part of the what they they donated went to people who just didn't help, but they didn't hurt, they're kind of so... like that neutral factors then these numbers are kind of skewed and i would so, want to see if if maybe they're actually zero at that point but i don't know the having the zero score based off of the information you provided about how somebody would have a zero score in the hrc from the hrc makes it still pretty ambiguous i'm trying to pull up the Good God, this is long. Um, let me see if this gives any. I downloaded the. I went to HRC because I wanted to download the 
um, form. Um, see if there's anything that mentions like how they score it. Specifically, what they need to score it. Um, because it. Well, I would definitely want to encourage those who aren't doing anything to do something. I don't want to necessarily hurt somebody who's just not doing anything. <sighs> which is it, which still is if you can do something uh, for someone to help somebody out like uh, to support the rights of of every man include especially those who are not given the full rights such as the LGBTQ community that it's it's not just laziness it's it's indolence I don't know what to, I'm trying to say this in a more uh, LGBTQ better way but if you do nothing to help somebody uh, uh, to help somebody when you can well, I mean, that's kind of what the Congress people are there for. Yeah, and that they should be. Yeah. This is not this. Oh, uh, God, I hate. Oh, sorry. I'm again. It's okay. Like, like what you're talking, like specifically what you're talking about. It would be nice to say, like, I wonder how, like, what are they doing to make the score? Like, what are they doing? How do they do it? And, um, I can't find it very quickly. And that's, again, a problem. I am a, I am a, I am a, I am a layman. I'm not a politician, but it's one of those things. Like you said, Jeff, it would be nice to know what the score fully entails. Yeah. And I, I think part of it is I don't want, want companies to be, be damned for something that they're, not doing because the implication that they're saying here is that they're is that they're uh, giving money to lawmakers that are hurting LGBTQ rights. So yeah. I found the 2020 State Equality Index, okay. which is a 160 page document. I'm linking it into the thing so people are welcome to. Click the link and then open the PDF and probably not print it. Um, <laughs> and then read through what they find and, and what they work for. I'm still looking for the federal one, though, because that's, I think, where this chart is based off of. So it's federal lawmakers with a zero HRC score. So I'm very intrigued to know, like, how they determine this. Yeah, that's kind of what I would, that's kind of really what I would want to know is like, how do they determine the score? Table of contents, that's what I need. Okay, page 24, scorecard criteria. <laughs> Help me. Keep, it, keep in mind the pages of this PDF, uh, uh, the the first page is, is at actually not even numbered, so you have to go to the numbered page, which is page 26 of the PDF. Found it. Okay. Hang on. There you go. Corporate Equality Index 2021. So HRC Corporate Equality. Why can you not get your naming together, people? Yeah. And link and save and apply. And there you go. Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> and that. So anyways, wow. um, we're not going to like... Yeah, it will take, this is, there's a lot of stuff here that's just very, um, yeah. yeah, there's a lot here. And it's kind of, again, I don't, anyway, that's just going to, that's just going to take a long time. Um, and we don't have time to really delve into that too, too much. But again, um, to kind of get back to the, the corporation topic, because um, there's another part of it that I don't, I think, we has brought been brought up in the past that doesn't really we try to talk about and doesn't always get talked about, um, and that is actual like um, 
corporations and such that are sponsoring Pride and Pride getting um, the corporate um, 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 like blanket where, you know, like, yes, we, we've talked about like in this, you know, today's episode, like we've talked about like how corporations that are, you know, secretly funding monies to, to LGBT, um, anti-LGBTQIA um, entities. Um, there's also the other side of that, which is where you're having pride festivals and pride parades and pride stuff that is sponsored by corporation and this and that. And um, there's a there has been conversations, especially in the past couple of years, about like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to maybe shift to that focus or is there more we want to talk about here? I gotta stop looking at this, anyways. Because <laughs> it's just gonna irritate me if I could like keep scrolling and reading and seeing company names. So yes, you're right, David. That there, there are examples. So and, and another thing I kind of want to pivot and talk about um, is so online social media accounts. The, the reason this whole thing kind of came up as a topic was because um, in social media there was a lot of sharing of like, hey, guess what's gonna happen on June first. Rainbows, Rainbows everywhere. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> and on July 1st, shoop, no more rainbows. So um, I actually compiled a group of images uh, that are online social media accounts that changed their icon to include quote unquote pride colors for the month of June in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, now I will explain why the image kind of looks this way. It's a collage of, of logos. Um, and the reason is, is because, so for my, for my co-host, when they see this, the top area that's in black, those are all logos of companies that were advertised to me on Facebook. Ah, interesting. And then the ones in white mm -hmm. were advertised to me on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And then the ones that are... In the bottom row in black, so there's like kind of two rows technically in that black area. The top one um, of those four companies are ones that I blocked on Facebook prior mm. to this. And then the bottom two are ones that I actually follow and mm. have been involved with in the past or supportive yeah. of in some fashion. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show you like, yeah. It's everywhere. It's so hilarious to me. And like we like the the memes and stuff that have come out about it and like the boom rainbows everywhere kind of thing. We've seen it. You know, we've seen all the memes of like like big fat rainbows like getting thrown everywhere. I've seen the one that I love the most is like there's a um it's a rainbow like chalk um like like chalk um drawing on the on the ground. And then it says July 1st and there's someone like spraying it down and the, the, the rainbow like dissolves essentially because it's chalk dissolves and literally goes down a drain. Mm. Like it's, it, it, I mean, it's, it's kind of true. Like, again, we've been, we've been talking about like, you know, um, corporations and stuff. Capitalism is a thing. So you see these logos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you see these logos and you go, oh, I guess they're supportive. Let me just go look at their stuff and see what they do. And then like we just saw like AT&T and Comcast and Infinity and, and um, Walmart, Walmart and, and whatnot. And like literally Walmart's like one of the ones that you have listed that you've blocked. Because <laughs> um, it's, it's just very funny. Well, Walmart, Sam's Club, et cetera. So it's just, it's just funny. And I, again, it's also funny or not funny, it's kind of sad, really, um, how many of these corporations are not only promoting, like, pride and gay pride, they're specifically using, like, the progress pride flag with the additions of the trans and uh, people of color colors. Um, uh, if you're wondering when, what that looks like, just look behind Dana. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, right, so, uh, like, because... And we kind of talked about this a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to look this up somehow. Um, uh, hang on. Ooh. Uh, 
<laughs> well, because we talked about uh, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Let me go back. Maybe it was 2018. I had a 2019. Um, we talked about the change of the pride flag. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was 2019, episode 512, wrong. maybe. I don't know. Uh, if it's. Uh, oh, what is this? Uh, there's an episode. No, that's 2020. A whole new pride. That's not quite the one. That was last year. That was last year. Let me just scroll down a little bit more and see if I get in that, got another episode. Nope, that's 2014. That didn't work. I'm just okay. Make you all work. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we we discussed how Philadelphia introduced a new pride flag, and they added the brown and black stripes to the six color LGBT uh, QIA plus pride flag, however you want to call it. And it's known as the Philadelphia Pride Flag because they they introduced it as a city. They said that they wanted to recognize that, you know, um, black and indigenous persons of color were not being recognized as part of the community. um, And that was something that needed to be addressed. And a lot of people at the time had opinions about, like, adding two colors. And I'm still of the, the, the mindset that what was done is in contrast to like the origin of the flag and what the colors represent and that the colors are not about like shades of skin or about aspects of the community that need to be focused on because, you know, these are areas that we need improvement in, you know, it was about healing and energy and spirituality. Like it was very, I don't know how to say it, hippie. Um, You know, it was very, you know, we are one. We are a community. These are the colors of the rainbow. Like, and actually, there were originally eight colors. There was a, a pink and like a, a teal kind of aquamarine color. And those colors got dropped because um, either they couldn't get the cloth or that fabric or it was too expensive or something. Anyways, when it was very first originated. So we ended up with the six. expensive cloth and color to keep fabricating. And it became, um, right. yeah, was, they, they, they removed it for the sake of cost effectiveness. Yeah. So that that being the case, when when I remember we had that discussion since then, there's been modifications to the pride flag. And now we have what's called the progressive pride flag, which is what's behind Damon for those that are watching the video of this, where they took the six colors and then they added these sideways chevron kind of um, angular items. So when you go towards the outside edge, there's a black v a brown v and then like a light baby blue and then a pink and then a white triangle and the those last three colors the pink the blue and the white represent the trans pride flag Mm -hmm. and then the brown and black would be for um persons of color so which i'm not finding that episode why can't i find it good god anyway it's i don't know all i know is, is is since that time my my feelings on that matter have completely changed because originally I was poo pooing it the right. entire time. I was like, it's not needed and blah blah blah. It's like this is all inclusive, but it's one of those things where it where at this point in time I'm I I've had this like epiphany uh, based off of some things that that people have said especially when initially just like right near the beginning of the uh black lives matter movement um and i had the i had this terrible terrible uh impression on it until somebody i don't even remember where the point was until somebody uh uh, had said to me, Black Lives Matter is not excluding everyone else. It is mm-hmm. focusing on ones that people are not including in what everybody should be focusing on of all lives matter. This is just putting shining a spotlight on one part that's having an issue. So saying Black Lives Matter is not exclusionary it's just providing focus, that sort of thing. And that right. what the uh, pro- 
with the uh, progressive flag is um, one. I actually think I think part of this also one of the reasons why I like it is because I think it's a better design than, than the Philadelphia flag flag was. Uh, but but having that the trans colors and the people of color colors um, on there uh, without the exclude not in basically including included with the regular flag flag colors it's providing an emphasis a focus on people that people aren't thinking of when they see the standard original pride flag so it's kind of like just mm -hmm. popping it out emphasizing it um plus i think the current progressive flag design i like it it's it, it it looks good uh in addition it so it is it takes a lot to um it's it's it makes and i'm saying it makes sense i you know i've often i've been a believer of um you know sometimes you need to make some changes to get the results or get the focus like you were saying like get the focus on what needs to be focused on and again while this flag that we have is not like the official like that's the big thing that i think most people don't you know understand these are these have been designs that have been created they're not the official like this is the one that you 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 have to use and fly and what have you um it's it's choices it's your choice Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering, you know, email, not emails, I'm remembering um, articles and such that the person who originally created the Brady Hair flag, great, oh, wow, where's the heart? Um, gay pride flag was fine with what was happening here. Did my camera just go out? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> By the way, I know what happened. So, this. Cubs Out Loud 420, which should be easy to remember, is the episode in 2017 called uh, State of the Community 17, which is what I think we used to refer to this as, as a series, um, talking about Pride yeah. each year. And that is the year that the Philadelphia Pride flag was introduced. You said 460, 420? 420, baby. I was checking if it wasn't 469. Interesting. <laughs> so I, what I did was I worked it backwards. I was like, okay, when was the Philadelphia Pride flag introduced? Oh, June of 2017. Probably when we discussed ah! it. And then found ah! the, uh, the article. And so it isn't listed explicitly, but notably... Uh, it's our older show format, so we started with what's going on at the beginning of each episode, and I said Pride Recognition. And knowing me, I probably brought up Philly created a new flag. <laughs> I had an opinion about that, or other all of us did. I don't know. But wow. then we also went through a little timeline of like some Pride stuff, so yeah. Uh, by the way, I found a, a article on uh, uh, .com, mm -hmm. uh which is uh, entitled the ultimate guide to uh or beyond the rainbow your ultimate guide to pride flags mm. and Neat. and they uh he has a they have a chart uh of uh, just showing different pride flags including the pride flag that started it all the six color pride pride flag which everybody's pretty familiar with by that by now the philadelphia pride flag transgender pride flag non-binary pride flag intersex flag the flag for the asexual community huh. the bisexual pride flag the pansexual flag the flag for the lesbian community the gay men pride flag and the modern pride flag which is i find it interesting progressive one. yeah i was gonna say i find it interesting they call it the modern pride flag as opposed to the progressive pride flag, which is what I mostly have seen it listed as online. And this is just a sample because in reality for the entire yeah. LGBTQIA plus community, I think there's upwards of almost 30 flags. Mm -hmm. So 
as the alphabet yeah. grows bigger. In fact, I just watched on YouTube earlier today, James Summerton talking about the word queer. And I thought that was very interesting as a, as a topic area that he talked about, like all the letters in the alphabet, what they represent and how, as we broaden to the community, we get more letters and the complications of that and how some letters focus on sex and sexuality, but other letters don't. And like now, like we are our own problem, basically. It's kind of amusing to me. Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so to go with all of that, there's basically a flag for everything in some fashion. Yeah. But no, that's so all that being said, back yeah. to, back to, <laughs> back we to corporations. <laughs> right. So with the companies like this has been my pet peeve. And I think I kind of bitched about this earlier this year already. What annoys me is when companies like slap a rainbow on their logo or behind their logo and it's just the six colors. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, your gays have failed you. Like mm -hmm. you're not even current. You're an mm -hmm. embarrassment because <laughs> like either you have shitty gays, you're not in touch with your gays or your gays are assholes. Like, so. Or, or they're not thinking. Well, so they're I, bad gays. Right. Uh, so yeah, like, <laughs> I, I suppose they, they're, they're not, <laughs> they uh, they're not, uh, 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 uh assertive gays well the reason why i call them assholes is because if they know about the other colors the five other colors that have been added to the six and they choose to not bring it up or request that it's included or forget it because they're just so used to, no, no, to no, no, no. there's six. a distinction there's a yeah. distinction jeff if you're forgetful then you're just a bad gay yeah. if you're omitting okay, you I consciously mean, know gay. about this then you're an asshole gay like that's my definition because yeah. now you're trying to not be equal and representative and yeah, fuck you something. you fucking fuck for that Woo! <laughs> I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna be right back i, 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 I want to i need to grab my phone so i can check on something Okay. You know, it's weird that I have to grab my phone to check on something, but it's because that, that I'm going to log into work. Oh, well, it's very interesting to me so. that um, we've had this um, these flags that have, you know, the progressive, the progress, whatever, whichever we want to call it. It's a very interesting um, confirming if I'm a bad guy. Ah, <laughs> I mean. Again, it's not necessarily you specifically, but um, <laughs> uh, but like the 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 usual thing I think of is you would want to be more inclusive and more representative, so you probably want to include all the colors. And as I'm like you said, as you're looking at these logos and such, um, yeah, like um, I mean Walmart, fuck them, but like literally, like it's their logo with each one of them being a color silk like fuck that shit um i mean sam's club at least has all the colors maybe yes maybe well maybe oh god that's so hard to see um jesus christ really cmt um why so again <laughs> sorry i'm just looking i'm just going through these like i know i know oh oh, oh. and again this is then that's what i want to say your marketing team failed you because some of these logo designs i'm like really are, child okay god I had a video on that. Um, I was going to watch. There's a um, there's a video on YouTube. I actually set up in my um, recommended uh, uh -huh. after watching another video of like how like someone broke down the um, logos of some the pride logos of yes. some corporations. It was just very much like. Mm -mm. Um, I think I think I, I saw that video being suggested to me because it's a young gentleman and he was like, "I fixed your logos or something like that." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The yeah. essence is like y'all have problematic. LGBTQ plus logos, let me fix them for you because yeah. these are just bad designs. Like, yeah. so example, the Dodo um, as one where it's this kind of like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like a fuzzy, like kaleidoscopic, you know, oh, like yeah. uh, gradation or, you know, I mean, ombre of the colors or whatever blending together. Yeah, that's, that's, like, no girl. that's literally the color wheel. Like when you like need to pick your like color on your font. Like, <laughs> like, which yeah. colors do I want? Um, and, you know, again, it's understandable. Like, I've been, um, I'm on sites, and we all know, like, again, this happens every year. I mean, I literally changed my um, 
on Facebook, I changed my, I gave myself the little frame of the rainbow, the flag, and I intentionally chose the, tried to use one of the inclusive ones. I actually like the one um, that I picked because it's it's pretty much the flag with my face kind of in the middle, mm-hmm. um, and then circ- obviously cut out into the circle to kind of just give the rim, for lack of a better phrase, of it. Um, <laughs> You said rim. I sure did. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I found out I'm not necessarily a bad guy. Okay, good. Ma- mainly uh, because I noticed that my company doesn't have any icon- iconography in the phone or acknowledgement of Prime Month at all. Ah, well, I mean, well, there, there's I that. Know, I don't know if it's just. I, I think well, it's my know, non. But... I think it's just the non plus thing. It's like neutral. Like. Like Something I'm sitting here, so like bad. looking. Um, I'm looking at as an example, like um, uh, a website that I, I've you know used in chat with Adam for Adam, like which is a um, LGBT. Well, I don't know if they're owned by LGBT people. I actually don't care per se, but like they they specifically you know are for the LGBTQ, particularly gay men community, and their flag is they've changed for Pride. Their their logo is a four. And they have just the general pride flags, you know, the original, the four, the six color one. Mm-hmm. I'm curious, did he do it? He probably didn't because he's an asshole. But um, yes, I'm talking about Bear Four One. I'm very curious. Did he do it? Did it do took anything? me two seconds to figure out what you were saying. <laughs> I was like, David's being slightly cryptic. And I was like, nope, not that cryptic. Figured it out. <laughs> nope, he didn't do shit at all because he normally does, never does. Uh, yeah, like anyway. soccer. I mean, that would probably be like a, an update to his site, which he hasn't done in a couple of years. Ever? Um, no, he he does it about every five years, uh, and, he, and he's usually about it, five to ten years. That much. Off, so. Yeah. Ooh, so, anyways, it. all of that being said, as we get close to wrapping up here, um, there there are also there's the evolution within the community. Um, based entities that like we partner up with businesses for pride Mm -hmm. because they give us money Mm -hmm. and you know they they help us have representation to have events and to you know utilize those funds in various ways so glad um as an organization came out with over two dozen partnerships this year and i found that really intriguing uh, that they did that because I didn't know that they like were working behind the scenes to create this, mm. um, this thing. So I was like, huh, in yeah. intriguing. Um, so I figured I would, I, I would add that in like as a balance, kind of a balance, um, you know, as to, as to what it is. Um, I'm trying to find where is it at because they have taken it away from their website, which pisses me off. Where? There it is. Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. Ah, yes. Whatever you believe in as a spirituality help you to find that fucking acronym or that abbreviation anywhere because they scrubbed it from their website years ago because I was like, that's right. What does GLAD stand for? You can't find it. It's not on the about page. It's not on their timeline. It says glad is founded November 14th, 1985, but they don't say what the words stand for, like what the letters stand for. And I'm like, really? Oh, no, I'm not kidding. So you have to go to the Wikipedia and then look for the parenthetical to find it. It's just so annoying. Anyways. You've got to be kidding. Come on, y'all. Like, come on. Anyways, my point is, is like you could go visit and see there are uh, over two dozen companies and some of them are, you know, companies that we know, like Adobe, um, Mm -hmm. uh, Audible which is owned by Amazon, um, but light, which is part of Anheuser Busch, which is owned by a larger conglomerate, um, <laughs> Crocs, Fabletics, Gap, Kellogg, uh, came out with a limited edition pride cereal this year, um, mm-hmm. which I actually went to a couple different stores in my hometown yesterday looking for said cereal because, uh, I was curious to see whether or not I could, you know, find it locally. Mm-hmm. Um, and if it was ever here, I couldn't tell. Oh. Oh, now that's wild. Uh, I can find it online. 
at those places, but then it's listing. Yeah, well, they don't have it at that store. They don't have it at that store because I went to both of those. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know if that's right, which that. yeah, but it's, been, it's I went looking and couldn't find it. Yeah, it's nice because it's a purple box. It's called Together, and it has um, three dollars are donated for every purchase um, to uh, to Glad, and so it's heart shaped cereal in rainbow colors. And so we've got Tony the Tiger. Um, the Thruple, which is Snap, Crackle, Pop, uh, <laughs> you can <laughs> smack, no lie here, um, from Honey Smacks, um, and a couple other characters I don't know, um, the, just the mini wheat, bullshit, that's like Burton earning <laughs> friends, just <laughs> uh, the mini wheats, uh, frosted mini wheats dude in sneakers is actually like waving the progressive pride flag, which is really interesting. Uh, the... Is it sugar pops, cock, rooster, whatever you call it, um, (laughs) is like there. And then there's a really crazy motherfucking look at Apple, which I'm guessing is baby Apple. Give me a second. God bless it. Let me look at this thing. Poor baby. Um, (laughs) I'll put it in the chat. Anyways. um, And then there's a fucked up cinnamon stick. That kind of yeah. looks like a ball okay. or something. I don't know. What <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So <laughs> let, let me look at this and give you some, some clarity. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. Right above him is the Sun for um, Raisin Bran. The Triad is Snap Hacker Pot. Toucan Sam. The Sugar Smacks Frog. The Corn Flakes. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, the Corn Flakes. Corn Flakes. Um, Rooster. Rooster. Yes, that is the Frosted <laughs> Mini Leaf. And the... <laughs> And the apple and the cinnamon are for Apple Jacks. They're the rep. They're the 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 representatives of Apple Jacks. Apple and cinnamon. And I think their names are actually apple and cinnamon. I could be wrong. Or cinnamon. Um. Anyway. What do you think this is? is did you go in? Cinnamon. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Oh no, you are so, right, David. You are right that there is a whacked out apple and a cinnamon stick that looks like a bong. And those are the like characters they've chosen for that. And apparently Kellogg's made a mashup of Frosted Flakes and Apple Jacks. Okay. Like I'm, I'm back. I'm back to like, you know, the creative team smoked something and they were like, yeah, this, we'll sell this. To well, the um, like the, That's how I, feel about that. I forget who the, Oh, come on, advertising. Did they come out with the characters? Yeah, so, oh, so, okay. Fuck you. So, the cinnamon stick is Jamaican, and his name is Cinnamon. I wondered. And the apple is named Bad Apple. Because he's always, I don't know, anyway. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Oh, God. Quote, Labeled as Apple Jack's Adventures in print advertising, the commercials focus on Cinnamon upstaging Bad Apple by reaching a bowl of Apple Jacks before he can, in spite of the Apple's attempts to stop him. Uh huh. And this was back in 2004, so that's when I came up with it. And then, anyway, so. You mean so to tell that. me these motherfuckers have been around for 16 years and I never knew this? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And now you know. It was probably because most of those commercials were were on programming that you weren't watching. Either it was on programming you weren't watching, or you 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 might be in Netflix and and no and no longer have commercials and stuff, so you don't get to see the commercials. <laughs> you I pay mean, the premiums the to not get the commercials. Yeah, so you don't get the advertising. Whereas right, because I'm not doesn't... being marketed to, motherfuckers. That's how that is. See, I can bring it full circle. That's how that works. Yeah, yeah. Commercial. because of ba- of my because of your your. Uh, 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 your uh, uh, personal analysis uh, based off of everything that you've been doing on Facebook and Google, um, they have determined that the ads for uh, the Apple Jacks uh, is not needed for you. You you no. are not the target audience that um, Kellogg's is paying for for the ads, to, the commercials to go to. Gary from Erie, Pennsylvania. Apple Jack, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, so for this this whole Glad campaign, because we need to move on to wrap up, um, Sally Henson is also involved. Samuel Adams, as in Sam Adams, it cracks me up because everybody calls it Sam Adams, but they have to list it as Samuel Adams. 
because well, it, it is Samuel awesome. Adams. Everybody, it, it's like people calling me Jeff instead of Jeffrey. My full first name is Jeffrey, but you can just call me Jeff. You know, so I Samuel know, Adams it, it is the name of the company. Right they came up with a special Love Conquer Ale, uh, yes. Love Conquers Ale, uh, Savage X Fenty, Skittles, Teletubbies. That's a show to discuss at another time. Holy shnikey. Uh, UG, Universal Music, Zales, 1-800-Flowers.com. Yeah. So lots of companies. So I was I was really intrigued by this concept that, like, Glad reached out and was kind of like, hey, you know, do you want to be considered gay endorsed as a company with your products this year um, after the pandemic? Sign on with us. And we'll like, do this sure. big old collab thing. So, yeah. And that's not even all the companies. Like, I, I went through and named most of them, but not all of them. So. Yes, 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 yes. That's it. That's the thing. I just so, I'm trying to like, I'm looking at every one of these and I'm trying to figure out like if they do any changes to their logos and stuff. And I'm like, when they had a flowers would have been a really fun one to have potentially done something fun for pride because it's, you know, colors and rainbows and flowers and shit. No, they didn't. It's okay though. But they have like a shit ton of other companies under them or they're part of a bigger corporation. And yeah. And, and in. I think in conclusion, we do. I do want to uh, uh, point out for for everybody. Yes, during Pride Month, a essentially a holiday here, at least here in the United States. I believe it's actually a recognized holiday now, isn't it? Um, or a recognized official month thing. I don't know. Um, is I think I know what you're talking about. Give me a second. Keep going. Keep going. Pride Month is like Christmas. It's like Thanksgiving. It's like Halloween. Companies are going to market for these celebratory events that are that are known to the mass uh, population. Companies will do this no matter what. They are going to ask for your money for because it is that particular holiday. You're going to pay for a Halloween costume for Halloween because you want to participate in Halloween and celebrate Halloween. You're going to buy a Pride t-shirt for Pride because, hey, it's Pride. You're going to spend some money. Mm -hmm. I do well, not blame any company for in one way or another for for pandering or trying to profit for, from this. Do you know whose fault that it is for this? Well, those damn people who are who have to to oppress us gays. <laughs> the LGBTQIAs. Um, so, okay. because if we didn't need pride, we wouldn't have this problem. Well, I don't really kind of going to call it a problem. I think it's a, it is, it's not necessarily a problem. I think the issue is that there are people who know that you have money and they want to take your money. It's called capitalism. Yes. Therefore, <laughs> like, and it's not just here in the United States because of the countries. Yeah, so yeah. But Pride Month like... specifically is is a, a a United States thing. It is yeah. LGBT Pride Month is U U.S. Yeah, I wonder there's also, up. It's... yeah, and it, there's Prides in in other countries. Other that countries, necessarily, yes, 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 yes. Certainly, June Pride Month sort of yeah. sort of festivity, but the same idea. This is a worldwide thing. Um. The man's gonna want want your money, so they're gonna they're gonna try to pander to to you, and you know what? That's how money is made. That's how you get paid, and how they get paid. So, money. just because somebody is, is showing pride stuff, one, be cautious because they may not actually be proud, and two, two, if you want your pride stuff, just get your pride stuff. Well, just get your pride stuff. Somebody's somebody's offering you something that you're not making. Like I will say this, and it's been my biggest thing for a while. Is like you know, everything you're everything's gonna shit rainbows in June. Like everything, in one way or another. Spend your dollars wisely. You know, support the businesses that you want to support. Support the companies that you want to support. And if you um, aren't sure. Look it up. Yeah, well, it's not know, that hard. Go over to the Cubs Out Loud store and find the uh, Proud Out Loud shirt that I made a couple years back. 
Ha, 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 I mean, it's not the greatest Speaking design, which, but hey, I did my best. Speaking of which. Anyways. I have a question before we go into closing and wrap up. <laughs> no, it's really simple. I just need to know from each of you your personal opinion. Do you think Tony the Tiger is like a dom top or like a sub bottom, <laughs> a verse or a side? I'm just curious. Oh, I, I, I think my he's God. Oh, my God. What, Jeff? I, I, I think he's a versatile pansexual. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at you. Um, fuck you. God bless it. Um, <sighs> yeah, he'll fuck, he, he'll fuck anything he's attracted to. <laughs> <laughs> Top, bottom, I side, doesn't you. matter. <laughs> if he finds you cute, he'll, he'll, be, he'll get down with that. As long as he's getting that nut, yes. No. <laughs> No, um, cause uh, it's great. <laughs> okay, let's stop. I'm not even gonna answer the question. Okay, Close so, so I do want to say this is a two parter because it's a two parter. <laughs> we're gonna do this as if this is one big show, which means we're not doing our closing. We're just ending the show. Um, yes, we are. Do... It's a whole other show. Okay, fine. By the way, contact us. The <laughs> Papa Ruder website comes out loud com. Here's an email at uh, cubsoutloud at gmail.com. Shoot us a voicemail at 361 seal. We'll talk that's 361 265 8255. Follow us on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. Join us on our, our social media chat at telegram at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col. Uh, subscribe to our Google Calendar to find out when we're recording these. Um, you can't watch the recording live of the next episode because we're pre recording it. Uh, but you can find when we are planning on doing those those uh, the live recordings by going to uh, tinyurlcom slash calendar dash col. You can get merchandise such as a Cups Out Loud t-shirt. I happen to have in in sleeveless uh, wearing right now, which you can choose your style as well over on Zazzle at zazzle.com slash Cups Out Loud. Uh, remember, if you're in a different country, to select your country so you get your pricing and your shipping. Uh, uh, or become a patron at patreon.com slash cubs out loud for a little a buck a month. Uh, you could also just send us a bit of a cash and maybe I can get a green screen because uh, I don't want you to see my apartment. Uh, uh, by going to paypal.me slash cubs out loud. Uh, you can find us on uh, Apple Podcast, uh, Google Play Podcast, whatever it is right now, um, Audible, Amazon, and Spotify. Uh, also find me anywhere in the internet as box up box puppy box club box something or other or wind gem on twitch w-y-n-d-g-e-m um and uh i am streaming a lot of final fantasy 14 when i do stream which now is on the weekends maybe a little bit during the week uh late night after work uh but uh i'm now working monday through fridays so things have changed on on when i'll be streaming we're still trying to figure out the current schedule for for bears and dragons that might be changing because i'm now off on weekends anyways damon is muted he said fuck you anyway uh, <laughs> had a really great joke in earlier that none of y'all heard so yep. fuck me anyway if you wish to get in touch with me you can find me as um theater cup 79 on most bear related sites or facebook <laughs> speaking of evil corporations um or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on twitter um twitter is definitely not safe for work If you want to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gabriel73. Uh, my Twitter that is definitely not safe for work is Gabriel73XXX. And with that, uh, say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Ciao for now.